What? Did you want to watch the video? Is, is, it's out, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. So, listen. You guys remember a few days ago when I took like half a day off streaming and I told you guys it was to record a music video? Because the thing is, I have to go uh, do this thing where I'm going to be shooting or going to be a part of a music video uh, for one of my girlfriend's friends. And yeah, so if you guys want to watch this, type one, and we can do a live reaction of the music video. Before we get into this, I just want to talk about two things, okay? The first thing I want to talk about is the fact that it's a hyper pop song, right? So some of you guys might actually like this song, and it's in German, okay? The second thing I want to talk about is you wouldn't believe what recording a music video is actually like. So just to give you guys a little bit of a thing, right? The way that recording a music video works, because he actually had like professional people like that were there recording it, okay? And what happened was, is what they would do is they would have different scenes that show up, right? So like, he'd be like, okay, we're going to record, let's say a dinner scene, a car scene, this scene, that scene. And it's like, you record the entire scene throughout the entire duration of the song while the singer's lip syncing. And then afterwards, what they do is they just choose like the best snippets of moments. So it's like the singer is sitting there and he's like singing a certain part of the song. And it always looks like he's singing the same song. But in reality, it's because he lip synced the entire song like 150 times that day. So I heard this song. I'm not even showing. How many times did we hear it? At least 100. Too often. <laughs> yeah. No, I got to a point where it's like, I, I genuinely got to a point, chat, where like, I couldn't hear it anymore. So here, like, I'll, we'll watch here, okay? So, the song, hold on, let me just pause it. So, like, the song is about, like, red flags, so for everyone that doesn't speak German... Yeah, so pretty much the uh, the entire music video is that like he's like the ghost recording while he's like spectating our relationship and we're in this like toxic relationship, more or less. Okay. Oh, that's me and my girlfriend. Look, you guys see the Pora? <laughs> on the phone during dinner time holy shit you know one of the, the things about us is that like um i don't think we've ever had issues with like me being on the phone during like dinner time but it's just because like i'll just randomly start scrolling my twitter timeline for like hours on end like that's the only that's like my biggest problem with the phone <laughs> <laughs> you guys know the meme? You guys know the meme? Where it's like, you wait, I need to find it, I need to find it, hold on. Um, fuck. Okay, you guys know this meme? Where it's like, the girl's thinking about marrying the guy, and then the guy's just saying about some random shit? That's what he kind of wanted to, like, do here? So that's why you see, like, she's, like, arguing, like, what'd you do this, you're on? And I'm just thinking about a Hecarim combo. Like, look. The pre-workout in the kitchen scene. <laughs> I didn't know why they included that. <laughs> <I didn't laughs> you lost your win streak, Rope Max. Would you ever tell me to Is I went on the lost streak? No. No, okay. Yeah. So I got hit with the Rope Max after lost streak. <laughs> the dismissive hand gestures. <laughs> I don't know if you guys got that. Wait, look. <laughs> look, wait. What are you looking at? Wait, is my camera blocking it? It might be on. Do you guys see it or no? Guess who that is? It's like we put in some little Easter eggs. <laughs> Why did he write it that way? This man is doing this hand gesture to express his lack of interest in the argument. Yep. Oh, sorry on my phone. No PGG, bro. 
10 game wall streak. So like a funny thing is that while we were actually recording, what was actually happening was that I would always open up Tarzan's stream and I'd be watching his stream because he was like losing and he was getting really angry and it was funny. So every time I would just tell like, oh yeah, Tarzan just lost his game. For like eight hours straight, I was just talking about Tarzan. Shit, spilling the pre. See, I'm actually like an insane actor. So funny story. Okay, this one, this thing here. So this was actually taken in front of a house, but they wanted to like film a scene there because they said, oh, it's like green and red and stuff. But we didn't go inside. Is this video <laughs> just your girlfriend getting mad at you while you're just chilling? <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> no. Eating her pasta. Holy. The ending scene. What's actually happening is this is just a secret love story between the two guys and the girl is getting suspicious. <laughs> Give a yep. keep gaslight but yeah, on. so like, that's the thing. So when I told you guys I was a part of a music video. But yeah, so what did you guys think of the music video? Honestly, honestly. Like, if you guys had to rate it, what would you say? Because like, I'm going to be honest, that's my first time ever acting. But they were saying that it's crazy for me. Because, okay, one of the things they were saying was that it was crazy how I could keep a straight face during like the acting scenes, you know? Because essentially what it would be is like, we'd be acting out arguments and I just have to keep a straight face. And they were, they were like, oh, you're like good at it. But it's like, the thing is, they don't understand that like, bro, the thing about me is that... How can I explain this to you? It's like, you know when I'll like give my opinions on stream sometimes and sometimes I just take the position that I know will make people the angriest? It's like I'm actually a good actor because no one ever knows if I'm like trolling or not anyways. So I can like physically yeah, act as well. Best in the world. It was really good. It was good, good, good. Okay, nice. Why ye? Because it's broken. It's broken, you folk clear, you scale, and then you just 1v9 everything. That's why. Because it is absolutely insane. Okay, you guys are saying apparently Ink Shadow Yi is like the best skin by far. Is that actually true or are you like trolling? Like is the Ink Shadow Yi actually crazy? Compared to all the Yi skins. I only won four straight on fucking Yi. Like trust me when I tell you my Yi. I'm not saying it's like god level because it's really not. But what I am saying is that I have like a good baseline mechanic for it and now that i'm just like full clearing every game it's like he is actually in like a really good spot right now he's one of those champs that even though he's 50 win rate he's like really good because there's some champs where it's like they're 50 win rate on their dog shit and then there's some where when they're 50 it's like it actually just feels really insane and i don't know he just feels like really insane go terminus first yeah i'll pass on that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, I'll pass on the Terminus first. Which I- who remembers the clear trick from yesterday when you're playing me? Look. Kinda fucked it up, but you got the idea. That's so cancer. I don't think there's any way I could have ever killed no, uh, Tf there is there. Cause like, I was trying to stall with my W and then I was like, okay, if I can get my Q up here, then I kill him. But then I just didn't get it. The hurricane changes feel OP on ye. Nah, they're not. You have to understand hurricane's like unironically just a bad item. Like you think it's OP because you're like, oh look, you can insta get Q, but it's like it's very rare. They'll like be in a position where you're even in range, like auto three people at the same time. Okay. I mean, 
Nah, I could have played that better. I could have played it better, but at least we got two. Two for one is like chill. Also, I was doing a little more research into the e-build. Probably supposed to do Noon Quiver into um Berserker's Greaves. So it's like Noon Quiver Greaves, and then after that you go like the other items. Like crack and finish and shit. Nice. I'm gonna be honest, I played that like shit. I don't know how the fuck I actually got him. <laughs> oh no. I mean, yeah, Lee. So you're telling me Lee actually walked in? And then decided that he wasn't actually gonna commit for the end raid. That's so weird. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I can probably just get Greaves and then... Can I also afford Recurve Bow? If I could, it's huge. Nice. Oh? Oh! <gasps> if they get this! Oh my god, they didn't. You're kidding. Nice. Do you guys see how I dodged the TF gold card with my Q there? 1v9. I kinda wanna give these scrubs though. Cause if I give these scrubs and I play for like bot side clear, I get my crack and I'm starting to like spike super hard. Loki, maybe I should win Tabby this game though. I'm team is like full AD. Unless I go like. No, I could go like Death Sands as the third or fourth. Uh oh. Wait, I'm fucking it. I'm a fucking demon. What the fuck am I? Bro, I'm like Loki the Ye God. My, my God, I'm the fucking Ye King. Are the lethal chain lethal tempo changes positive for you? Well, I mean it was a nerf, so no. But the only like positive is that they buffed the fuck out of Kraken. Do scenarios coaching for content? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think I need to. Because you have to understand that when it was like before Korea, my peak on Hecarim was when I was doing exactly what Scenarius does every game. He just prioritizes like folk clears and shit, and then just like plays uh, mechanically 1v9 team fights. Because his mechanics are literally the best in the world on the champ. So that's why it's like I don't think there's any amount of scenarios coaching. It's literally just like getting better mechanically at the champ that I need. Which just takes games. Good. Okay, two little kills for me, I'll take it. Word over this wall, insta kill when he walks up. Uh, I should have just kept running. I thought maybe I could, like, do so much damage to him that he just, like, insta dies, but nah. Nah. Oh my god, if I could have literally just gotten- MY GOD, I'M THE F***ING Yi KING! Good. Oh, actually, yeah, we can! I didn't actually recognize the Baron opportunity there for a second. Good. Nice. I almost have my Titanic. Once I get that, I should be like insanely strong. Okay, not bad. Just play mid. Wait, now we just get like two towers for free. They have no balling.
Ah. Uh, I mean, listen, the good news is now we can just start building Death Sands, and I'm, once I get this item, I should just complete 1v9. Literally, the Death Sands part is going to be where the damage starts going like insane. <laughs> it's impossible, too. Oh my god. I mean, I did what I could. Can they please get it? I think they do, right? Nice. Not bad. The thing is, like, watching someone play League isn't the same as actually playing it yourself. Playing it yourself is infinitely worse. Insta kill whoever walks up here. And then we have numbers advantage. Good. I think we can actually just share up on the game now. Perfect. Woo! Nice. A little bit of a fucking 1v9 at the end there, I'm not gonna lie though. Little bit of a fucking 1v9 at the end there. Catching out the enemy and just going fucking crazy. Have you tried Hurricane yet? It gets you Q and E resets faster and applies all your true damage. Yeah, but the thing you don't understand is that Runance is a bad item. Type on if you guys want to know why. <laughs> 